I'm Mike from Streamer Square, and I'm going to give you the rundown of everything that went up on the site in the past week in video form. If you want to read more about any of the posts I mention here, there will be links to the full articles in the description. The first post that went up this week is on how to earn free bits. We point out a couple of options available for viewers who want to cheer, but don't necessarily want to throw some dollars down. You can watch some ads for a few bits, or join Twitch RPG and take the occasional sponsored survey, or even more. The ads start at giving 5 bits and go up, but sponsored surveys usually give 500 bits per survey. The next post is on Twitch's purple ticket contest. You and your friend can earn all access passes to TwitchCon 2017, which include VIP party passes, meet and greet opportunities, tours, and more, with travel and accommodations included. All you need to do is make a 30 to 90 second clip or highlight telling your Twitch story and submit it from there. You can refer to our post for more specifics, fine print, and where and how to submit. Stream elements introduce super themes, high quality overlay sets you can easily tweak and drop right into XSplit or OBS via a browser source option. Each super theme includes common components for everyday streaming, including a game overlay, a talk show, camera-oriented overlay, and several transitional scenes like Starting Soon and Be Right Back screens. Some of these super themes are developed around specific games, but they can all be used how you need them. If you wanted tips on how to monetize your stream, we've got you covered. We went over a variety of options for earning money while streaming, including tips and donations, platform-specific options like subscriptions and cheering, and other routes you can take like GameWisp, Patreon, and affiliate programs. We listed pros and cons for every option to help you make the right choice for your stream. Some of our options are obviously Twitch-centric, but the same principles can apply wherever you stream. This week, Elgato announced the Cam Link and Green Screen. The Cam Link is a USB 3.0 device that you can use to connect a DSLR, camcorder, or action camera for use in your stream, or just in video chats with friends. The Cam Link has an HDMI input and outputs 1080p 60fps video at low latency, similar to Elgato's HD60S. The Cam Link is listed for just under $130 and will be available soon. The Green Screen from Elgato is a compact and collapsible option for those that want a professional option, but also want to stow away their green screen after the stream has ended. The green screen rolls out from a base and is listed at being just over 58 by 70 inches, and is supported by an X-frame that's also built into the base. The green screen is listed at just under $150 and is currently unavailable on Amazon, but it looks like you can still order directly from the Elgato website. The green screen should be available soon, and you can look forward to our review on it soon. OBS released version 20 for OBS Studio. Some of the updates include a new modular system for the OBS interface, a new clipping indicator on the audio bars, manual controls for slideshow sources, official FTL support on Mixer, and more. If you use OBS currently, the update is available for download now. Finally, Discord started testing video chat and screen sharing on the desktop client. They rolled the update out to just 5% of their users, but if you did get the update in your private messages where you'd normally start a call with someone, you can also start a video call, even with people that didn't get the update themselves. Discord pointed out that video chat is a massive undertaking for them, so this is a limited release not only to limit the bandwidth increase on their servers, but also to iron out any bugs. The full release is still at least a month out, but we'll keep our eyes open for any updates. And that does it for this week on Streamer Square. If you want to find all of these articles and more, links to everything are in the description, or you can go directly to StreamerSquare.com. You can subscribe to this channel for more updates in the future, as well as following us on Twitter, at StreamerSquare.